Are you looking for a unique, intimate, historic venue for your wedding? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to be talking with the executive director of the Little Theater of Manchester, one of Connecticut's hidden gems. Welcome to Weddings with Zeta. Here's your host and producer, Zeta Christian. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. Not only do I get to bring you a fascinating guest tonight and lots of very interesting, helpful information, I get to reconnect with an old friend. My guest tonight is Dwayne Harris. He's the new executive director of the Little Theater of Manchester. Dwayne, thanks very much for being on the show. My pleasure. Happy to be here. This is great. And of course, we have other connections, both residents of Manchester, but also that we both worked together at the Bushnell for a while. So it's really nice to, to reconnect here yes, in, uh, in your new role, Yes, which is exciting. So uh, speaking of new role, how, how long has it been since you've been uh, the, the director? end of this month, it will have been three months. Oh my gosh, so you're brand <laughs> yeah, new. Right. You are brand new. <laughs> All right. Well, one of the things that I wanted to clarify, not only for myself, but for residents in Manchester and for people who, my hope is that when we finish this interview, you're going to get a lot of calls mm -hmm. for this, but to make sure that they understand what the relationship is between the Little Theater of Manchester, because you put on some great shows, but also the Cheney Hall, the yeah. building itself, and the idea of using it as a wedding venue. Yeah. So clarify so, that for so us. So in a nutshell, um, the Little Theater of Manchester, which has been around since the 1960s, in the early 1980s partnered essentially with the town of Manchester. The town of Manchester bought the building and agreed to lease it to Little Theater of Manchester. It provided Little Theater of Manchester, um, did all the fundraising to uh, rehab the building. Uh -huh. So it took about 10 years, they did that. So today, Little Theatre Manchester manages uh, the building and is mm -hmm. responsible for the rentals at Cheney Hall. I see, okay. Well, as, as I mentioned you know, early on, I do think of Cheney Hall as Connecticut's little hidden gem yeah. when it comes to wedding venues. I mean, as an officiant, I've, I've seen a lot of venues you know, in Connecticut and Massachusetts, Rhode Island, mm -hmm. a couple in New York, and there is something so special about this the i think that the whole concept of the fact that it is uh, a historic building and the the architecture is gorgeous i think about when i think of some of the other places i've been i think that the building itself has a sense of place mm -hmm. and and maybe maybe even it's not a building maybe it's like you're on a beach or you're mm -hmm. in a garden or you're by a pond but it could be you know an old lace factory or it could be a bank vault uh, any number of things so when you think about when you think about the Little Theatre of Manchester, as it, just as the theatre itself or also as a wedding venue, what do you think about in terms of, of its sense of place? Yeah. It's definitely, you walk in and you immediately know you're in a historic yeah. venue. Yeah. Um, I'd also say there's, there's quite a bit of theatricality uh, yeah. to it. So everything from the, the sort of swooping uh, roof yeah. to the carved chestnut um, decorations that are that are uh, yeah. ordained the hall it really does have this this great sense of, of theatricality to it yeah um, and then you immediately get the sense of history too I mean President uh, grows of uh, uh, Taft and uh, Cleveland have both been in the hall oh. and you definitely get you know you walk in and you get that sense of, of history and importance of the place um, and, and the architecture too it speaks to sort of the grandeur um, and the, the monumentalness of the, the space. I mean, these huge windows that have, you know, uh, half circles uh, on the top. Yeah. Um, it really is a beautiful space. And so I'd say, you know, and what we hear from people is that this is a historic place that, that people love to be in. Yeah. And immediately walking through the front door, you get that sense. So we should clarify something. The, the theater itself mm -hmm. began in the 60s, but this building goes back to the yeah. 1800s. Yeah, 1867 was the uh, the year it was uh, opened. Yeah. And of course then, anybody who's familiar with Manchester and you drive along Hartford Road, you see all the mansions and everything. Yeah. So it's, 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 uh, it's got quite a neighborhood. Right, exactly. Yeah. So um, there is uh, 
I want to go go to that that picture. There was the one I think we might have shown of the the grass. It was a mm -hmm. beautiful summer picture mm -hmm. that we have of Chini. There's this one right here. I love that. You see that the the beautiful front of the building. You see that nice like a garden setting. Yeah. It's welcoming. Um, I've seen people gathered out there sometimes. Uh, you know, before a theater, before mm -hmm. a show, people yeah. just gather outside and talk. Yeah. Uh, it just it invites sort of a community space, and that brings a question that I always want to know when it comes to venues, because I find it, you know, in, in my various travels, usually a venue has a place where every couple wants their picture taken at oh, that spot. Yeah. And it could be a staircase, it could be a gazebo, it could be the banks of a river, it could be any number of things. Yeah. What's the, what's the spot? It is absolutely what you just showed there. It is the the, on the porch. Yeah. You know, they can do different levels with the stairs. Um, late afternoon, you get some beautiful sunlight uh, yeah. in that space. So it is absolutely that spot. Well, I know one of the things I love about that building is even in the winter, and, or maybe even especially mm. in the winter. I don't. There's no bad season. Yeah, yeah. You know, to to have a picture taken there, to have a ceremony there, and we do have a beautiful picture of the hall. Just that you know, the different, oh, no, little bit yeah. different angle. Mm. But we're seeing, you know, we're seeing the snow. We're seeing, it's New England. Yeah. I mean. You want to talk about you know Christmas in Connecticut? Or exactly you know, right. That, that's beautiful. Yeah. Just it it still looks like celebration. It's right. it's festive. Yeah. And it's really pretty. So I want to talk a lot about weddings and receptions mm -hmm. here in the building. Can couples hold both the wedding ceremony itself and the reception? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So my, my favorite thing that I've seen you yeah. know, or been told has been done in the hall um, is uh, we can seat approximately 200 people um, at, at tables in the hall. Mm -hmm. So what they'll do is, is have both the reception and the ceremony in the same space. So you can have the ceremony up on the stage. People are already seated at the tables they're going to be at for the reception. Beautiful. And so it's sort of, you know, you, people come in, they sit, you watch the ceremony, it's beautiful, and then you're already there for you're the reception. You're already there. Yeah, so it, it works out beautifully. That, that's the shot right there, right? So yes, we're, yes. We're, seeing, we're seeing the whole setup. Right. We're seeing the aisle decorations so that you know that it's, it's, still, you know, it's still a wedding aisle. Yeah. The stage is all set for right. the ceremony. Beautiful organ there in yeah. the background. And then people are already seated at their tables. Exactly, that's, right. That's, that's very cool. That's very efficient. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like that idea. Very, very pretty. Yeah. So, one of the things that uh, that I wondered too, because we're looking at what is used now primarily as a theater, if it's for a wedding venue, is there a place, uh, a bridal suite for the bride to get ready if she w wants to wait till she gets there mm -hmm. to dress, and is there a place for the groom and the groomsmen to hang out? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So because it is a theater, we have right. two things that, that you need for that. We have dressing rooms. Okay. So for the brides, we have, uh, we have dressing rooms that have the, you know, the mirrors with the lights all around oh, them. Perfect. So it's perfect for doing it's makeup. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then for the groom, um, we have what, you know, in the theater is called the green room where the actors wait before they yeah. go on stage. And ours is uh, outfitted with uh, plush couches. You know, if the groom's, uh, the groom and his, his party want to get uh, dressed in there, we can throw some mirrors in there. So really, we have two distinct separate spaces that, uh, that both uh, parties can get ready in. And those spaces also um, echo the whole flavor of the fact that it's now a theater. Exactly. I mean, I just think that right. is, that, that's a, it's, it's such a, um, it's such an interesting element to add to the fact that this is where they're going to be holding their ceremony. Right, right. Really nice. Yeah. Um, is there an on-site wedding coordinator, somebody who, you know, comes with the, the hall? Yeah. So we always have a, um, a Little Theater Manchester or Genie Hall uh, person there. Mm -hmm. um, there we're ex almost exclusively a volunteer organization, mm -hmm. so it's not, you know, it's not someone that's necessarily trained in uh, wedding etiquette or, or you know, it's, okay. it's going to be helpful in getting, 
you know, the, the timing right on everything, but right. there's someone who's going to be there to uh, assist you if you have any questions. They're going to show you how to, you know, turn on the lights. Right. Um, if you're doing a reception and it comes time that you want to lower the lights for some dancing, they're going to be there to do that. So there is a person, and normally it's a person that's that's uh, well versed in in running the sound, running the lights for the theater. So they're going to okay. be able to help out with uh, with that end of it. But but that but it's not their job to be the coordinator for Correct. the wedding. So if, if a couple, you know, if you need somebody who is going to cue the music, who's going to cue the bridal party, who is going to, you know, run run things, actually run a rehearsal, right. then you bring in someone, you bring in, the exactly. couple would bring in someone of their own. Exactly. Or they could hire a day of coordinator, exactly. or they could work right. with a wedding planner. Right. Do you have people you recommend? Like, do you maintain a vendor list? Uh, we do. We do not only for that, but for any, you know, flowers, catering, anything. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, we, we sort of, you know, have a list prepared, ready to hand over to, to the one renting our space for a wedding. Okay, that's, that's good to know. So, um, in terms of numbers that we can accommodate, mm -hmm. and you mentioned just a minute ago that seated with the tables and the seating, you can accommodate 200 people right. there. What if somebody just wants to have the ceremony there, and mm -hmm. let's say they're going someplace else, uh, they're going to a restaurant or something yeah. for dinner, but they just want this ceremony. Yeah. So you're looking at chairs, the traditional theater style, you know, with an aisle. Yeah. How many can you accommodate then? 300, 320. Dwayne, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. So I we, didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. So it is, it is you know, it's, it's, it's an intimate space, but yeah. it definitely can hold, you know, quite a few people in it. Yeah, and you you've know, got that. You can either do the two aisles um, on the side, or you can do one aisle in the middle um, for your uh, 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 procession uh, okay. march. Um, but either way, we can we can fit 300 people in there, and we can do different arrangements too. If you're only going to have 150 people, we can reset you know the entire because uh, all the chairs are movable. Right. We can set them in any any configuration you're looking for to to meet your needs. So, the the idea that I, it just occurred to me. The tables, the the chairs and the tables, are those. If someone rents the space, mm. do they do they rent tables and chairs separately, or does that come with the space? So if they're just doing the the ceremony, right? Uh, in in our hall, we provide uh, the chairs, the same chairs that we provide for a, a theatrical event. There, mm -hmm. um, you get those as part of your rental. Okay. So if you're looking at having tables um, for for dinner and, and need chairs for that, yeah, you'd have to rent from an outside. Outside okay. company, we don't have that. We just don't have the storage to sure. keep anything like that on site. But my guess would be that a lot of these rental companies, they're used to doing business. They're used to setting things up there, so yeah. they know right. what what type of chair or what size table or whatever you can accommodate. Absolutely. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and and I'm sorry. My apologies to my crew in the back because I wasn't watching. We had a really pretty picture, and I don't know if we even showed it yet. Ah, oh, there it is with the lavender oh, yeah. napkins. That is so pretty. So you've got some, you've got some uh, rectangular tables mm -hmm. or, that you can put in there, but, yeah. you've, but then you've got the round tables. Now you've got colored linens. So the linens, that would also be something that people would rent right. as well. Yes, correct. Okay. correct. Is that the color? Is that the color of the walls? So it is, it's a, it's sort of an off white uh, beige okay. uh, color. That's very pretty. And then pretty. the they're not pictured here, but there are uh, uh, drapes um, that are sort of the same color as the main curtain that's close on the stage there. So mm -hmm. a, a nice velvet red, a uh, deep red color. And then that beautiful hardwood floor. Yes, yes, the parquet. It's it's mm. uh, uh, it's ama amazing. That's Great for dancing pretty. too. Oh, I bet <laughs> it's nice and soft. Yeah, yeah, and that's important. <laughs> it yeah. is. It is. Yeah. Well, you know, there's there's another aspect to the theater that, uh, you know, as a resident of Manchester, I've always appreciated, and that is that parking lot mm -hmm. that's right next to right. the theater. Because I know a lot of places when you when you go to see an event, you have to find a place to right. park, and you're looking for a garage or you're looking for an open lot or something like that. There is a parking lot that's right next to the theater. In fact, um, we have a photo here. This is that that intersection of. Hartford Road, mm -hmm. um, and what is that? Is that uh, Hartford Road and Elm? And, and Elm is the street there. Yeah. Yeah, and then Pine over on the other. I think we'll an, right. another block over. Yep. And then you, if you're looking carefully at this picture, you know, over on the uh, on the left side, you can just barely see it. But there's a good size parking lot. Yeah. Back there, where you can just pull up, park your car. Exactly. And does use of the parking lot come with the rental 
of the theater. It does. It does. Yeah. There's does. no additional fee for that, right? Oh, Dwayne, that's really nice. Yeah. And about how many cars can that lot hold? A uh, hundred. Um, it can be stretched to 125, and there's yeah. some handicapped spots right there in, in the front. So it's a, it's a oh, good sized parking lot. That's really good. Well, what about let's say somebody's having a you know an evening wedding, nighttime reception. Uh, or really any time. I mean, is there is there security that comes with the lot? There's not security. Um, it's it's a well lit yeah. um, uh, lot, and so there's there's never been any issues there. Yeah. Um, and the uh, Manchester police are our friends, and so they it's, it's part of their patrol to, to check that lot every Good. night. So Good. yeah, there there's never been any issues there. And and it's also you know it's a, it's an it's an old neighborhood. It's a historic mm, neighborhood. Exactly. There you know you have the converted mills that are that are now you know lovely apartments yeah. right behind. That's it's a lovely neighborhood. Um, catering, that's a big issue when somebody rents space for a wedding. Is there an on-site caterer or do people provide their own caterer? How does that work? Yeah, so um, we, we don't have our own caterer. Okay. Uh, we, don't, we don't offer a catering service, so people um, do have to find a caterer. Mm -hmm. We uh, have a list of our, our Manchester friends um, that, that uh, do great business, do great catering yeah. business. Um, that we're happy to provide to anyone. We do have a small uh, catering style kitchen that's got a large um, restaurant style refrigerator and a, a, oh, a range um, oven uh, for people to use. Um, and even better than that, people, you know, if they're, if they're really on a budget, people can bring in, you know, their own food. Dwayne, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So are they you can serious? make it at home. Yeah, we, yeah. So and they, you, they bring so in their food. Oh my gosh, now I'm thinking for the do it yourself couple, do you realize what he said? You can. So really, I want to be sh just be sure mm -hmm. I clarify that because a lot of places, they won't even yeah. talk to you about right. that. Right. So you could have everybody making a cake, making casserole mm -hmm. dishes, yep. bringing big trays of stuff in, yeah. bring their own food. Right. Oh, that's... Absolutely. Absolutely. Dwayne, that's amazing. That right. really is. So we have, a, we have a picture here that I wanted to show. It's got a really pretty uh, table mm -hmm. set here, pretty linens and the... Obviously, those are the rented chairs. Yep. And then I see the the long rectangular table there in the back right. with the like the chafing dishes exactly. on it, so people can bring in their their own items. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really great. Well, when I think of receptions, the first thing I also think of is alcohol. Mm. Does Cheney Hall? Does the little little theater have? A liquor permit. How does that work? We do have a liquor permit that essentially covers us for for selling um, alcohol. Okay. But uh, renters uh, can definitely bring in their own alcohol. Um, they can't sell it. Um, they would have to get their own liquor license to be able to sell it. But they can bring it in and serve it to guests. Um, and if they do, we just require them to get um, a essentially a rider on either their homeowners or renters uh, insurance. Okay. Um, that sort of frees us from any liability related to alcohol. Um, and everyone who's done it tells us that it's completely free. They just call up their insurance company, give them the language we need, and it's done. And they provide a certificate to us. So they bring in their own alcohol, they can serve it uh, to their guests without any problems. You know, you've only been in this job for three months. I, <laughs> I know that. And I have to tell you, um, this this is amazing. Mm. I mean, what, what you are offering uh, couples who love you know, something that's unusual, something's different, something that's got like historic connections, uh, historical connections, but also the idea of the, the couple who is on a budget. I yeah. mean, there are amazing things that, that couples would be able to do there. That's, Absolutely. That's a, that's a gift, it really is. Um, well, let's see, what else do I have here? Well, let's get to the, the big questions. Price. Mm. Now, I have to say first, this is a public access show, so we can't talk about specifics. Okay. But I'll ask you some ranges. Okay. So renting the hall, under a thousand, over a thousand? Under a thousand. Under a thousand. Mm. Yeah. That is amazing. Okay. Is there a difference for weekday rentals, weekend rentals? Any yeah. difference in the Yeah, price? weekends are, are a little bit more expensive. Okay. Um, weekdays are, are cheaper. What does Friday count? Friday would be Friday during the day. We could probably squeeze it in, in the, under the weekday. Okay. But typically Fridays are, are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are our weekends. Weekend rates. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so because you're also a theater, I mean, primarily the mm -hmm. Little Theater of Manchester, you have shows. Yeah. You have shows. You have concerts. You have, you have all kinds of cool things there. So how much time is there? How many, you know, 
on the calendar, yeah. what are we looking at? What's really so, available? Right. So just you know, there's 50. In theory, there's 52 weekends that, yeah. that throughout the year. Um, we run you know five uh, five shows, three weeks, uh, three weekends, you know, for each show. Mm -hmm. That right off the the bat takes yeah. out 15 weekends. Right. Um, so without any doing any additional you know programming, there's there's 30 weekends available um, throughout the throughout the year for people to have a. Um, rent the hall. Um, it fills up very quickly. Oh, I bet it does. Very quickly, yeah. It's it's we're we're very in demand, and partially because of scarcity, right? And we yeah we, yeah. we don't have a lot of dates available. Um, but if you're talking thirty weekends. You've got Friday. Yeah. You've got Saturday. Yeah. You've got Sunday. Do you ever do more than one wedding in a day? So typically, just because we don't have the the storage capacity, typically we we don't because if somebody's renting a bunch of um, tables and chairs, uh -huh. we really don't have anywhere to put them once they're done with the wedding until they get picked up by the um, um, okay. the rental company. Okay. So really, it's it's sort of one shot. You know, each weekend we can do a big uh, a big wedding. Um, and what you know we haven't mentioned is that um, when you rent, if your wedding's on Saturday and you rent uh, the hall, um, you get a certain number of hours you know, right. to use the space, including setup and all of that. Like a, about how many? Uh, so uh, 10 hours um, you would have wow. to, to, okay. to do everything in. So that, you know, you've got to be done by midnight is our only requirement. Yeah. But essentially you have that 10 hours to, to set up and to have your event and to clean up. Okay. Um, the, uh, but we'll work with you if you want to come in the day before. Yeah. We'll typically hold that Friday uh, before your uh, before your event. If you want to come in and, and do some setup early, or maybe you have you know some family that wants to come in and, and do some of it for you before uh, before the big day, we'll work with you to, to let you use you know sort of split it over two days. So typically, when we have a wedding on Saturday, it also takes Friday offline on our calendar as well because we're holding it for the uh, for the wedding party. So a couple could do a rehearsal. They could, absolutely, absolutely. They On Friday. Before. Right. And, oh, Dwayne, yeah. this is getting better and better. <laughs> um, is is uh, the little, little Theater of Manchester and the use of the hall itself, uh, are you a union house? We are not. Okay. Um, does the couple have to carry any extra insurance? Let's say this is not a situation of serving alcohol mm -hmm. at the reception. But just generally speaking, do they have to carry any kind of special insurance? We don't require that anyone carry in any additional insurance. Okay. Gosh, I feel like it's just like a magic <laughs> wand. You know, yeah. you just ask. I mean, everything is wonderful. What about? What about a deposit? I'm assuming you must require a deposit to hold a date. Yeah, so we require 50% of the estimated uh, total okay. rental uh, to hold the date. Um, and as long as you cancel within 60 days of your date, you'll get 100% of that back, less a little uh, administrative fee. 60 days? Yeah. That's yeah. very generous. Yeah. That is very generous. So we've, we've established the fact that you are in a, you're in this historic building, this this you know beautiful old neighborhood um, are there any restrictions because of that in terms of lighting or flowers or mm. decorations so a couple of things one is no open flames um, so unfortunately we can't have candles um, oh, for the, you know, for, oh, the okay. for the ceremony um, battery uh, candles uh, yes. yes exactly okay, exactly that, that's okay. very popular um, and the only other big thing is uh, no tape or no thumbtack. So a lot of times people want to hang decorations on the wall of the hall. Yeah. Um, and they can't. We can't have any sort of uh, blemishes or, or anything on the, the walls. Okay. So people have brought in freestanding um, things. Like so stanchions or exactly, something like Exactly, exactly. Right, yeah. with flowers decorated on them. So you can completely do that. And there's no issues with bringing in flowers. Um, as long as we okay. can sweep it up, there's, there's no problem there. That is, that is really good. Uh, what about, well, what about music? You know, loud music. Yeah. So we, as a, as a performance hall, we host rock concerts. <laughs> yeah. Right? And we have never had any issues with, with the music. And it can get quite okay. loud so that, that the windows are sort of bouncing from how loud it is. Yeah. And we're far enough away from any residential area that, that yeah. there's, no, there's never been any issues. That's good to know. Uh, what about outside, you know, that mm. pretty space that yeah. was outside? Can people set up, let's say you want a cocktail reception mm -hmm. outside, string quartet or yeah. acoustic guitar or something like that? Yeah, that, that, that wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, yeah, we've done it uh, ourselves. All right, so it's like, it's like everything I'm asking, you're saying <laughs> yes. So is, is the hall open year round? It is open year round. Oh, okay. How soon should couples 
try to get on your calendar in order to get that space. So, for example, right now we're booked solid for the next six months. And oh, so okay. it's really, it, it, you know, trying to call and, and set something up for next month isn't, isn't going to happen. Not going to happen, yeah. yeah. So it's at least a six-month um, yeah. uh, period. Uh, well, advice. unless, it, what if a couple wanted something middle of the week, like, like on a Wednesday or a Thursday? They have a little more chance. They, they yeah. do have a little bit more chance, yeah. But okay. even then, we have, we have rehearsals most Oh, that's most right, nights. of course. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. all of our plays rehearse in our space. Of um, so it is, sure. yeah, it is, it is still pretty, pretty scarce. Um, you know, it, it uh, occurs to me, um, I get, I hear from couples a lot of times who come from different states, who come to Connecticut, some particular place in Connecticut because they want a wedding like by, down at Mystic, you know, mm, they want to be yeah. by the whales or I mean any number of things. Do you get people coming from outside of Connecticut, from or at least from outside of the, you know, Greater Hartford area, to use the space? So this is one place where I'm going to have to say that uh, I've only been there for three months, okay. <laughs> and so I don't completely know the answer to that. Okay. Um, I'll tell you, most of the people that I've dealt with in the three months I've been in there are are Manchester people and are you know are coming because they know of the the beauty and and historic okay. nature of the hall. I got a feeling, Dwayne that when this goes out, and then this show is, we will be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll put it up on the YouTube channel and I'll promote it, you'll promote it. People will hear about it and they'll go, oh my gosh, I had no idea no. that that little theater, that beautiful little space mm -hmm. was available for rental. You, you do rent to people. I mean, you don't have to be a resident. Correct, do you? correct. No, you do not have to be a okay, resident. Okay, I was afraid yeah. that was gonna be uh, the no. No, no, okay. <laughs> no we, okay. rent to, we rent to anyone. All right, well, finally then, let me ask, when when it's over, when the couple has come, they've, they've, oh, well, wait a minute, one, let me back up one thing. Couple wants to book the space. Can they just call up and say, do you have the date available? Here's my credit card. Can you do that? So, no. Ooh. So here's the okay. no. <laughs> so we do require that everyone come in and see the venue in person and meet with us in person to talk about um, exactly what they, they want to do. Um, okay. So it, there is, you know, we do require an in-person meeting um, up front. And so that's, that's the only, you know, sort of uh, requirement that we have. Um, we like people to come in and see what they're getting. And, yes. and you know, because you can look at pictures online um, and not fully realize, you know, the, you know, how big the space is or how small the space is. Right. So we do require everyone to come in, meet with us. We go over guidelines of, you know, what, because it is a historic venue, right. what you can and can't do. We just want everyone to know exactly what they're getting into before they um, put a deposit down. Good idea. All right. So last question. Mm -hmm. Couple has come in, they've booked the space, they've had the wedding, the reception, people have gone home, and now they're writing letters, sending a letter back to you. Mm. What do they rave about? What yeah. do they love? So I'd say the, the number one thing is sort of the, um, the, their guests' response. So they, yeah. they talk a lot about how their family loved it, how their friends loved it, they thought it was a beautiful oh. venue. Um, and then really, it's the simplicity, how easy we made the process for them. Dwayne, you're answering yes to everything. Yeah. I mean, this is great. So um, I'm, I'm going to have to say thank you for, oh, okay. for being here. I mean, yeah. the way a lot of information, we could, do, we could do some more. You do about the theater. We'll do that okay. next time. But I do want to thank you in the viewing audience for being with us. I want to definitely thank Dwayne Harris, who's the new executive director of Manchester Little Theater, and, uh, you know, Cheney Hall. I want to thank you in the viewing audience as well because when it comes to weddings when it comes to love you know what they say what love can do make the world go around so spin see you next time are you planning a wedding or renewing your vows let today's leading wedding vendors inspire and guide you to learn about upcoming guests and join the discussion like us on facebook zeta tv Weddings with Zeta is a program of Moon River Rituals. For more information, visit ZetaTV.com.